Greetings! The following video is an introduction to the coastal topography, opportunities and management schemes of Shek Ko, located at Southeastern Hong Kong Island. Please enjoy! As part of the Aguilar Peninsula's coastline, Shek Ko consists of mainly two bays, Shek Ko Wan and Island Bay. They are divided and sheltered by one shared headland commonly known as Tai Tao Chow, while Rocky Bay Beach and Shekho Beach are positioned respectively along the two bays. Here, prevailing winds play an important role in shaping the coast by forming both destructive and constructive waves. As the southeastern part of Hong Kong directly faces the South China Sea with very little obstruction, southeast prevailing winds with a long fetch and high wind speed increases turbulence and waves, resulting in waves with a high wave height, wave frequency, wave energy, and short wavelength known as destructive waves. In addition, according to topographic maps, closed sea space submarine contour lines show a steep offshore gradient that also enhances wave energy. These destructive waves concentrate on the headland and cause wave erosion in lines of weakness in the tidal zone opposite to the tombolo of Tai Tao Chao in the form of hydraulic action, abrasion, solution, etc. A notch is formed by undercutting. As further erosion deepens and widens notch, the overhanging part of the sea cliff collapses, causing the sea cliff to retreat and form a broad flat surface named a wave cut platform as shown below. Meanwhile, constructive waves forming the two beaches were mainly generated by land obstruction. For Rocky Bay Beach, southeast prevailing winds are sheltered by Tai Tao Chao and its joint headland, while for Sheko Beach, prevailing winds are mostly blocked by the offshore island Mfan Chao. As a result, prevailing winds with a reduced wind speed and fetch would create less turbulence in approaching waves, producing constructive waves with a low wave height, wave frequency, wave energy, and long wavelength. In addition, according to topographic maps, widely spaced submarine contour lines show a gentle offshore gradient that also reduces wave energy. These constructed waves carry sediments to the sheltered bay. As swash is greater than backwash, the rate of deposition would exceed the rate of erosion, causing longshore drift to carry sediments along the bay adjacently to form beaches, as shown below. As observed, Mfan Chao is an offshore island located at Island Bay. It is well known for its faults and lines of weaknesses, dividing it into a total of five sections. As the majority of Mfan Chao is composed of granite, it is more prone to hydraulic action caused by destructive waves. Also, small fault lines on Mfan Chao are also easily attacked by concentrated destructive waves. As water is pushed into the cracks, it compresses air in cracks and raises air pressure. As a result, repeated action enlarges faults and cracks and shapes Mfan Chao like the way it is currently. Tai Tao Chao is an offshore island connected to the Shekou headland by a tambolo composed mainly of gravel and large boulders. As prevailing winds are blocked by Tai Tao Chao, winds with a short fetch and low winds we can only produce constructive waves with little wave energy and erosive power. Eastern prevailing winds control the direction of longshore drift, causing sediments to deposit, accumulate and extend from Tai Tao Chao to the Shekou headland, connecting them in the form of a tambolo. The spectacular scenery of the Shekou coast provides many opportunities to local, natural, coastal landforms such as Shekou Beach and Rocky Bay Beach favor recreational activities and water sports such as swimming and windsurfing. Surfing schools nearby also provide equipment to visiting tourists. In addition, surfing activities also take place at Big Wave Bay, another beach north to Shekou. This boosts local tourism, providing job opportunities and income to nearby restaurants and residents at Shekho village. The panorama of an open coast also encouraged the development of leisure facilities, such as the Shekho Country Club located north of the Rocky Bay Beach. Coastal management is important to Shekho as major settlements are constructed along the coast. For coastal management, 
seawall and riprap are adopted to protect coastal areas from wave erosion so as to sustain human activities there and reduce loss of lives and property. Seawall is a strong, durable concrete wall which is designed to reflect and disperse wave energy. Thus, wave erosion is reduced. Seawalls are applied mainly along the coastline of the headland linked to Ta Tao Chao, where wave energy is most concentrated. It also protects major settlements like Shako Village and facilities such as sewage treatment works at the headland from coastal retreats. On the other hand, rip wrap consisting of large boulders piled up along a coastline protects the coast mainly by absorbing wave energy from destructive waves to reduce its erosional power. At Shaco, rip wrap is applied simultaneously at the foot of the seawall to reduce undercutting of seawall and to lower maintenance costs.